In this video, let us create a simple tip calculator. I've created the project already, and I'm just going to say, Welcome to our tip calculator over here. Please enter amount of purchase, then we expect an input. Then let's also impute the percentage of the tip. percentage is equal to double dot parse console dot red line now there should be some very basic rules about giving tips tips should not exceed a particular percentage probably max of 20 percent so we want to do a little bit of check on this to say if Tip percentage is greater than 20. Or if it's less than zero, we don't want to reduce stuff. So if tip percentage Let me just copy and paste the name here. If it's less than zero, we're gonna do a console dot right line. You know what? Let's keep this bit here. Let's make it another kind of conditional check. Tip is above allowed limit. Then we also want to do a check if it's below a particular percentage. Is below zero. We don't want to do anything with that. Okay, so we'll do a console. You know what? Let's do something here. Let's declare another tip amount. Tip amount equals, let's make it zero for now. So here we'll still say tip amount is zero because we don't want to do any sort of a reduction in the total amount that we'll pay for such service that we get. All right, so now if none of this completes to true, my bad. If none of this completes to true, then I can go ahead and actually calculate my real tip amount. So I would say tip amount equals that the tip percentage Divided by 100, so if it's 20 times 100, uh, that's what we'll get, multiplied by the purchase amount. Here, what we want to do is we want to add this to the purchase amount. Okay, so we now say. Purchase amount should increase by the tip amount. 
or we can actually declare another variable here for that so we can say um total payable so I would say over here pardon me total payable is equal to purchase amount plus tip amount and then we add put that to the console just a moment yep so we output the final results for the console make this very nice using interpolated the strings and I go ahead and say total amount I do a breakdown over here total amount to pay I put in the total payable amount and I can format this as a currency value. So this is how I do string formatting in C sharp. Let's actually run this first before I go on. So it gives me the local currency of the system I'm running this on. So let's do a dot net run on this. And we should get our welcome message. There's a little bit of problem somewhere. Unrecognized skip sequence on line 11. Oh, my bad. And then on line 13, I am missing a semicolon. All right, let's run this again then. We should get the output now. To type on namespace runtime, where do I have runtime in my code? Line number one. I do not know where this came from. And I do not know where this came from either. So let me remove those and run my code again. Hopefully this should run this time. I think it will. Okay, purchase amount. Let's say we bought something of about fifty-two pounds fifty p. T percentage three percent. Total amount payable is fifty-four pounds eight p. So nice, isn't it? Now let's try to format the rest. So we've got our total amount payable, and let's do a little bit of more breakdown. Now let me modify this a little bit. Then in here I want to put in uh, total amount, total purchase is, I put in the value of total purchase, that's purchase amount, format it as a currency value in the local of the system, the local of the system, and also Put in the tip amount. That's just doing a little bit of breakdown, you know. We can also have with VAT if you wanted to. Uh, so put in the tip amount. Format it as currency value. All right, and I think we are good to go. Let's run this again. And we bought something now, 1,200 pounds. We want to give a tip of 5%. So we get in our total amount to pay as 1,260 pounds. 
purchase value of 1002 tip amount of 60 percent let's say one now want to go a little bit above limit okay so here we can even say hey, if the tip is above a particular percentage you just i cut it short okay so the amount of purchase now would be um let's say 1002 as we did earlier on but we'll put the tip percentage as 25 percent we get a message that the tip is above limit okay so we need to do some bit of uh computational check around here so we'll say we will set this at maximum so let's default this now to 20 percent okay so if anything we put this at 20 percent so when i say you know what let's put it at zero and make it be 20 percent over here right so now let's try to run this again because it still did a little bit of calculation over there which should not be so so let's try that again now so we should get a maximum of 20% tip. So I put in 1,200 and then I put in a tip of 30%. It should reset it back automatically to 20%. So 20% of 1,002 is 20 percent of 1002 is 240 pounds so 240 plus 1200 there's a little bit of logical error here then oh my bad tip percentage is what i wanted to put here tip amount my bad tip percentage is what i should put here i was wondering what was going wrong tip percentage yes now let's run this again now and our logic should be fine this is part of debugging code Okay, let's put in 1200 we might get a little bit of error here as i suppose so we are fine here let's try this again with something that is higher than 20 percent percent tip there still seems to be a little bit of error here Okay, we set it at 20%, that means we still got the same value out, just like the previous bit now. Now, let's put something that is less than ordinary. You know what? I would have to do a little bit of the competition here. So, here I would say, um, we need to do some conditional checks in here. But let's actually see what it looks like if we run it first. Let's put a space in here. Okay, 1002. Oh, my bad. 1002. Tip amount of minus 5. Which I think looks good. We got 1002. Total payable. And our tip amount is 0. I think that works just fine now. That's a little bit of it. I hope you like that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will get notifications when I post new videos on this channel. See you in another video. Goodbye.